Oh, I'm not actually officially starting this today, but uh, <clears throat> what I am going to be starting um, for my personal reading. Now, I think yesterday I shared uh, the quote, you know, the world is not in need of a new religion, nor is the world in need of a new philosophy. What the world needs is healing and re regeneration. The world needs people who, through devotion to God, are so filled with the spirit that they can be instruments through which healing takes place. And that's Joel S. Goldsmith also. But this is uh, before I get actually started, like even before the table of contents, it's uh, a writing, it's the infinite way. And I wanted to share this because my intention is um, I would like to get a little bit read of this because I have read it before, but it's been many years ago. So I'd like to pretty much read it to myself, mostly uh, unless I just find something that I feel like I need to share, like I'm doing right now, until I get through it all. And then when I get through it all, my intention is to start a series where I will read from this particular book uh, several times a week, if not every day. I don't know how I'll do it, but um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of uh, uh, a glimpse at what's to come. Um, and if you haven't already um, liked this video, please hit like. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would please uh, ask you, or I ask you please if you would consider subscribing if you get anything out of what I'm doing. So let's get going. Uh, the Infinite Way by Joel Goldsmith. And uh, by the way, The Infinite Way. Yeah, that piece of that Christ in you. Okay. We are reminded in this book that the great power necessary to dispel the era erroneous conditions which surround us must be sought within ourselves and we are shown how it may be accomplished we are seeking as never before that which will free us from the fears anxieties and dangers of material living we know that whatever it is that will give us mental rest and spiritual peace does not lie in the realm of human thought <sighs> We live under the illusion that material forces and human will are great powers until we learn that within our own being there is a spiritual power which dispels this illusion. There is a peace, <clears throat> there is a peace in quotes, well this part is in quotes, it's, there is a peace be still within our own consciousness which will still every storm, storm in our experience. Heal our diseases, lift us above the strife and weariness of human existence. Our part is to recognize its presence within ourselves and let it fulfill its mission. This universal power of truth, life, and love is ours, regardless of which church we attend or what philosophy we follow. It abides at the center of every individual, saint, or sinner, awaiting only our recognition. The awareness, that human uh, the awareness that human power does not regulate the sun and stars in the heavens, the crops in the earth, the winging of birds in the air, is sufficient faith to move mountains of discord. No greater faith is necessary. Remember that. What must we do to be saved from the ills and terrors of these present days? Let the message of this book fill your consciousness with its spiritual import and be patient. Let the harmonies of spiritual existence unfold from within you and lead you out of the bondage of sense into the promised land of peace. And here's a little information. Uh, Joel S. Goldsmith, the author of this book, was a seeker for truth in all the great religions and philosophies. We devoted many years to the public practice of healing and he devoted many years to the public practice of healing and counseling in all phases of human existence. His unfoldment of the light within is well known through his letters, which for many years have had wide circulation. Infinite Way study groups have been formed throughout the U.S. to study the Goldsmith writings. Um, anyway, I hope this sparks an interest, and I, it won't be very, it probably won't be real soon, but it's not a uh, thick, but uh, I have 
get to, I'm going to try to start this today, which I was going to do over the weekend, my friend Craig Sawyer's book. And I, I'm also still on a novel, a Jack Reacher novel that I want to finish. And uh, trying to just keep up doing what I got to do every day. And um, I just thought this would probably be a good way, a, a good series, a good book to share on a frequent basis once I'm pretty much you know once i get a good ways in it then i might start doing videos from the beginning anyway uh that's enough for that uh, until next time mr cloud gray cloud say to the eternal moment over now you know